Hey fellow adventurers, Will Botch here, and welcome to Fingerbones. Uh, Fingerbones is a psychological horror game released in 2014. I've seen gameplay on it before, and it seemed pretty interesting. And then I've got it. It's free, and I'll leave a description down the link for you. But it's a free game. Um, it's not really the kind of horror game where things jump out at you, jump scares and all that junk. It's more reading and finding out what's going on, kind of clue kind of stuff, so... All right, well, let's jump right into it. I like the ominous tone. Ooh. Nope. The fun thing is this is a WASD game to move, and I don't know how to switch it, and I'm left-handed, so my setup, I'm all cramped up over in this little corner trying to do it. Because <clears throat> I play on a laptop, so I can't move my keyboard anyway, so... Unless I move the whole setup... Hmm. Nice golden light. It's over here. Hmm. What's this? Hmm. Oh, I got a flashlight. An indentation. Huh. Well, what's over here? There's gotta be something in one of these filing cabinets. Now the thing for like these old, for like pixelate-esque horror games, like there's a couple more I plan on playing that look like this, so. Like the pixelate-esque stuff. Ooh, what's over here? <clears throat> Alright, if you're expecting an awesome voice, you came to the wrong video. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop mortality is too relevant on emotions, and not relevant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it's a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral unless a concrete scientific reason can be proven them as immoral. Huh. Over there and check that out in a second. Can I open these? Also, I'm so used to not playing with a mouse, so I know I'm kind of crappy at it, so bear with me. This. Apparently I can interact with it. Huh. Guess we'll find out later. And sorry if you can hear the clicking, it's right next to my laptop, so... Ooh, there's another note. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Huh. Nothing more than this. Nothing more. Over here. I don't want to exit some the tables. There's a knife. Can I take the knife? No knife for me? It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and a divorce certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Huh. Maybe because I got a light, I can see something more over here. Yeah, there was a note over here. I don't know why I used my daughter's name as the door lock code in my survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. 
So that must be the keyboard over there. Her name is Katie. How do I interact with it? I have to interact with the environment. I see the environment and I want to interact with it. That's a keyboard, right? I'm not stupid, am I? Well, I guess we'll keep looking around. Maybe that's not the keyboard. Maybe that's not the keyboard I'd be looking for. Then there's this over here. Huh. Something else I'm just not seeing? Oh, backhand of spiderwebs. Any hidden notes? Nope. I really think that's the keyboard to get in, but I can't activate it or do anything with it. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, that was just a fuzz on the... Yeah, I'm aware it's locked. It's over here, now that I can see. Ooh, there's a button! Well, that would help! <laughs> now I can probably activate the keyboard. go um capital that's her name right that's your name right oh there we go oh that's creepy it's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will all be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when I start when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps that's what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Now oh, what's in here before I go down? Okay, I can't go down, can't go in there. There's a note. I boxed up everything that isn't practical or useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. So I just piled them up here near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. The blood? Huh. I can't open the hatch, apparently. I can't open this door. Is there a button somewhere that I'm not seeing? Another note? I hear you! There's a note right there. I'm trying to dare it. Oh, oh, oh. The tool room has been her name for years. I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room has been her name for years now. I can't bring myself to change it. Oh, okay. So maybe, uh... So Katie was to get down here. Why am I moving so slow? So, Len might be the tool room name. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, it's still shut. Let's 
go try that. So I wonder if I just if am I am I still the guy wandering around here and I'm just re rereading my notes, or is um I'm just a guy who happened to find this bunker and slowly I'm figuring it out of what happened here after the fall I guess of humanity. Huh. What's in here? What? What's back here? Um, no. I changed the storage room code to something I could easily remember. N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Which I guess would be Len backwards. Right? Which I guess that'd be easy to remember. There are things I want to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman. And now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. Huh. Looks like some blood on the table. Alright, well. I think Len backwards is the password. We'll go back up here and do it. On a, like, when I was reading the description of the game, I, they said no jump scares, but I still think there's gonna be one. It's certainly unsettling and creepy. I keep expecting yourself in that random, like, crying down in the basement. Keeps getting me. <laughs> I still think there's gonna be something that's gonna jump out at me. Alright, here we go. I just like the just the drone of the music is unsettling. There's a button right there, but we'll go ahead and read the note first. I am a bag of DNA, and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produce a daughter because my genes demanded reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served as a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place and took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and to protect their genes. Dreams, loves, opinions, desires, beauty and innocence, fragments of our collective primordial imagination. Fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in life. They used to serve a purpose and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on earth for all I know, ready to be freed from them. Uh, oh. It's enough! Hit the button. Oh god, now I have to go down there. <sighs> Ooh, chills! <laughs> Oh, okay. Stop! I usually don't get, like, I, I watch a lot of horror movies and stuff like that. And I don't even get chills as bad as I got right now. <laughs> Which is why I love playing horror games. Or psychological horror games, or any kind. I prefer stuff like this that just creeps you out. What's all that? Oh, it's blood. The seller's freedom. I 
guess we're finally going to the cellar. <laughs> Here we go. Can I take a knife? Please? In case crazy man's down there. Creeping out, man. It didn't open. Something I missed? Sellers Freedom. I wonder if that's the password. Freedom. Because the Sellers Freedom. Rada rada rada. Get back upstairs. Oh, I can spell, and just in case, because I'm not sure if caps matter or not, I'll type it twice. One with one without, because I don't want to walk all the way back up here in case. Ah! <laughs> Was that light on earlier? Because it seems a lot brighter down here. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. I am free now. Freedom! It took the end of humanity for me to find freedom. Oh shit, my stuff's flickering. I don't want to go back here. I don't want to go back here. It seems to be from a torn diary. She finally died last night. I don't know, rather from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods. Her fingers. My anti-religious artifacts. My testaments to a moral and intellectual freedom. Are locked in the safe upstairs. Also, that's what those were. Oh, gosh. I am content. And the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he had come back after all these years. Starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. One last flicker. The flashlight died. And he was left in pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her even now in the peaceful cellar. Wow! Huh. That was... I, I, that was creepy. Definitely. That, that was cool. I like, I, I like that kind of stuff. Like, I like, uh... Guys, like, you've been seeing me play Lisa. I like uh, post-apocalyptic kind of stuff and the world kind of stuff. Like that. Like the Mad Maxian kind of thing. And for this speed one of those games that seems to take place, like... Them hang like daughter visiting father who's obviously a little bit off 
after everything, taking medications probably to help him and everything and whatnot, and a little bit disconnected with the world. And then for a apocalyptic event to happen, and to just seeing, just reading the notes to see how slow he starts descending into this, uh, I guess madness or something, going slightly, slightly more crazy depending on the situation. Because I don't know, I guess in a post-apocalyptic world, you're different kind of mindset and everything. So what's uh what used to be moral and what used to be the right or wrong thing quickly gets thrown out the window when you're trying to survive or whatnot, so Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. It it was creepy as hell. Like walking through I kept expecting something to something to pop out. I was expecting to find like a ghost down there, I kept expecting to find like it his body just like may fall her body or his body just fall. Out of nowhere, just as a cheap jump scare, but there was nothing which I which I really liked. I liked how the whole entire time it was it felt like something was going to happen, and nothing ever did happen, like no like jump wise or anything like that. Nothing. It was it was just atmosphere and just that drone of the music and the occasional just background noise of like the girl and whatnot, his daughter Katie, which was really creepy. And I liked reading the notes, just how like slowly you could tell you just begin to more and more whether losing it or adapting to the new life that's now taking over the world, which they never said really what happened outside. Apparently, after everything that happened, he went out to the forest and everything, but it's just crazy that they didn't really say what exactly happened, like if his, how his daughter died, but I guess he, she he either, I wonder if he was like, there, he kept the same blood loss and there's blood here and there, so it's kind of a question like, what did he, do to her like was he slowly consuming her through starvation blood loss or what happened but that that was pretty crazy <laughs> uh, but I, I did like it it was it was interesting and i hope we can find more kind of horror games like this i do like the psychological kind of stuff so just a just a more creepy vibe of that so all right well thanks for watching if you liked it leave a like or subscribe I plan on doing more horror games as I find what I can and can't do with my current setup, so hopefully this one runs pretty good and runs pretty smooth. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.